Yo, what is going on everyone? We have finally arrived at the 357. This is literally like my second home. I've got the RS6 behind me. I'm almost at the end of my time with it. Like I feel a bit swak because I want to keep it. I want to own one. Like I really do want to own one. I really do. We're going to get it washed. We're going to get it cleaned up and we're about to check out some of the cars here at 357. There are some super cool cars that I want to show you guys. Some super cool cars, super cool cars. Cars, super cool cars that's what we are about here at cars and things that I want to show off to you guys actually if you guys remember I got my M4 tuned here uh, I might introduce you guys to my tuner I don't know we're at the 357 anything can happen it's gonna be a great time stay tuned check this out guys here is the RS6 Avant performance just in front of me here I have had this car for about a week and I'm so sad I'm gonna miss it because it is that incredible Wow <laughs> please cry with me wherever you are it is getting a car wash and I'm gonna give you guys some car wash shots over here it's the RS6 the Audi RS6 Avant performance Oh my gosh, what a gorgeous car. Wait, let me show you guys more shots. Like, I cannot take enough shots of this car because it just looks insane. Oh, as hot as a... I'm about to walk to it right now. It is quite an iconic Porsche GT3. You guys may know the owner of this car. You may have seen it around. It is, in fact, a traction off car. <laughs> Looks absolutely gorgeous. One of my favorite cars. I will own this car one day. One day I will own this car. Looks incredibly mad. I mean, look, look at the rims around there. It's just a gorgeous looking car, it's insane. And of course, my dream, my dream is to own a Porsche GT3 RS one day. So I see these cars and I'm just like, wow, wow, wow. There's also another car right next to it. It is the BMW M3. You guys may have seen this M3 shout out to the 357 as well as kicks and whips doing some really great things man have a look oh have a look at this rim right here this is insane oh 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 it's a force and rim if i'm not mistaken on this m3 sitting perfectly sitting absolutely perfectly on this car it looks incredibly gorgeous Okay, okay, okay. Like I told you guys, we are at the 357. Check that Skyline GTR R32. Whoa, that sounded badass behind me. It's a Skyline R32 behind me. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. What an absolute legend in the world. In fact, in the world, this car is an absolute legend. Looking clean, very well kept, very well taken care of. These things are bullets. They're absolutely insane. And I love the rims around there. They look gorgeous. gorgeous. You can actually see from the lights which one it in fact is. Love it. Oh, and the color, like it's like purple magic. It is insane. Gee whiz, how nuts is that? Oh, Skyline, you don't see a lot of those around here. But I actually like it with the rims and it's just, it's just, Beautiful. I love it. I love it. As soon as you get here, you see a Mini Cooper S. I don't know if you guys know this, but I've also got a Mini Cooper S. Ooh, the M5. Oh my gosh. And this is the Frozen Edition, if I'm not mistaken. Look at that color. So these came out and they were sold. I think they came out at about like 2.4 mil if I'm not mistaken 
but these are insane and on the floor here at the 357 is a frozen edition one. Oh man look at that look at that absolutely insane absolutely gorgeous i'd love to own one of these at some point in my life once again just a reminder that we are at the 357 if you look straight ahead there is a mercedes amg gts i did want to buy this car at some point you guys may remember i did want to buy this car i think they're gorgeous for me they need a bit of kit on them and then we are good to go we are gone actually we're gone we're gone this is a league i'm not quite there yet i think i need to make a lot more money before i get here the s classes are insane look at the bit of detail here look at that amg you guys need to tell me should should i buy an amg i don't know what do you guys think oh but they are insane guys 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 i just want to say if i could afford a mercedes s63 i would buy something like this have a look at this <laughs> i can't guys i literally can't i spend too much time here and every time i'm here i see the sickest cars and this behind me must be the sickest s class i've ever seen in my life check this out Guys, to tell you the honest truth, I, I wish I could show you guys all the cars that are here today. There are so many. There's still the back where there's like a car storage and probably cars waiting in queue. Literally, you hear exhaust noises everywhere you are here. This is like a car haven. I'd love to spend my life here. I think I'd be very happy. Um, if I could make money while I do that, that would be fantastic. That would be amazing. But there are so many cool cars here at the 357. I just wish I could live here. They are insane. It's car heaven. If you are a petrol head, if you are a vlogger, if you like cars, come out, check the 357 out, spend some time here. You can have some lunch. There's a vape store. There's a lot of things to do here. There's even a barber. I need a haircut that's why I'm wearing a beanie in case you are wondering but there are so many sick cars here that I wish I could drive but not only drive but I wish I can take home with me and keep forever yeah but realistically speaking 526 kilowatts on the wheels is not I wouldn't say feasible but you can't comfortably drive that every day um, so you're gonna you're gonna keep the M5 stuff yeah Strong. yeah that's what he are you keeping now. the M3 yeah. Now you're flipping becoming a BMW <laughs> fanboy. That's it. 135, the new one. M3 with what sort of base did you put in it? Vargas. No, no, M5, guys, number three. I think it's the. I just. So, realistic, realistically speaking, go look at the specs of the new M4. So, the first batch is real wheel drive. Yeah. The second batch is all wheel drive. Mm. You're getting a very cool car. But you, if you're paying 1953 for a, I'd say, a stock intro without adding your extras. Age so the it's extras, about 2 you get point, to 2.2, 2.3 yeah. 2 million. So, buy an M5 LCR competition. And that is expensive. With, with carbon ceramics, you're in for 2.35. And that's, it's gonna charge the M4. And it's that's actually my it. plan as well. M5 guys. <laughs> Let's go M5. And it looks good, the new lights. Those, those, those flippin's. That's yeah, the way. Yeah, those are. Do you keep up with the RS6? <laughs> <laughs> We're here with TJ Adams. Gang, 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 gang. gang. Winning. We've got yeah. at TK. Noisy. Mr. No Kid. Mr. Noisy. The noisy. There was We're out here having some noises, guys. Um, and actually, Vine is a barista, so he makes a like, proper, proper cappuccinos. Uh, have, hit a coffee. If you need your phone fixed, my phone, like if there's an issue, I leave it there, they fix it. What's happening, Sherwin? They fix it there, sell you charges, everything. If you vape, you can top up your flipping vape. Why do you need to go anywhere else? And I cut my hair. Every, every, like every Friday, I cut my hair. Fresh cut Fridays. <laughs> okay, I just want to let you know you're gonna be in our next video. Oh wow! This is turning into like a lifestyle. A lifestyle, bro. Yeah.
And this is the part of and things. And things. Mm. Oh. I am things. Yeah, I things. officially own you are and car, things. You are both things. You are cars <laughs> and things. You are and things. Look, that's a graveyard at the back. It's a graveyard of everything now. And it's just BMW. It's just BMW. Shazzle's McLaren was there the last time I came. <laughs> I'm trying to win me at the... When we went to, the, to that race, what, what, the one in Limpopo, Pretoria, where we were just recently last year. ODI. ODI. Yeah. Is that the last one that we went to? The last, no, last one. Oh, no, Rhino that's Park? at Rhino Park. Yeah. Rhino Park. The 340. Remember the, the 340? Yeah. What was it? It was racing McLaren. It was in McLaren or Porsche. It yeah. smoked it very quickly. It's also a part owner of the 340. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. It was an NTK. Yeah. Did you see the race with the X5 and the McLaren? And the McLaren. Yo. McLaren. X5 smoked the X5. The four, the that's the four, the four, the four. <laughs> Yeah. Smoked the McLaren like it was nothing, TK. Not Guys, I'm talking about X5. A I'm not talking about a the pre pre uh, face. You're not talking. I'm not Left. talking like an old smashed a McLaren 650s, <laughs> 650s. And by gap, man, not like a I'm like it. No, by gap, like proper. Grand grab. Grand. Was it? Proper proper grab. Was it? It's like no, these cars are insane. You know, that car is insane, eh? The thing is, if, if, if you're gonna choose your car, rather just do it right. Like, the people who always make it, who get it wrong is, today they wanna put this, tomorrow they wanna put that, tomorrow... Rather come and say, okay, cool, I'm saving up enough money. Now, guys. Let me do everything. I'm dropping the car off for a month. Do everything and test it and test it and test it and test it as much as you can. Because the, the reason a lot of cars break is, today you wanna do exhaust. But then you don't put um, filters, so now it's overheating the turbo. So you want to now next, then then it blows the turbo. Then you want to change the turbo. So now that was like 30k. You know what I mean? Like all of a sudden now costs are adding up. Instead of just going, yo, I've got 150k. What can what I can do? What can I do with it? Cool. This is what you can do. Blah 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 blah. Cool. I'm leaving my car here. Uh, I'll I'll come pick it up after a month. Then you get Sanjay to sort it out. They test the car, like they stress test it, like they drive it hard, drive it to a distance. Then you get your car back and you know it's running. Mm, I had this thing of, ah, I want it next week. Then you get it next week and then it breaks. It breaks and then you blame them. <laughs> nah, man. Yeah. Well, guys, here it is. How to tune your car. Batike. No shortcuts. <laughs> no shortcuts. Get it wrapped in carbon fiber. Carbon fiber actually better. Oh my gosh. That would be sick, right? Getting it wrapped in carbon fiber, that would be ill. That would be like, that would be something else. And all the carbon fiber, and then you get an aftermarket exhaust. Get Kellen to put aftermarket exhaust on there. I still haven't seen Tain's R8. Bro, that thing shoots flames. You see flames at 12. <laughs> 12, and the sun's out. The sun's here. You see flames in front of me. I saw, I saw him. I was, I was coming from all of Africa. As, as I was coming straight from the Sasso, I came out the Sasso, he was turning in. He saw me, he drove past me. That thing Look. sounded so loud, I couldn't hear my car. <laughs> then he went past me, then he went past me. As he went past me, he came in front. And then That's and then not he hearing his RS6 Avant performance a, a with an R8 driving <laughs> past. <laughs> nice, nice. You know, that thing yeah. is loud. Bro. Yo, that's a jet. Now, it actually does sound like it goes. It's <laughs> Yeah. And it moves, eh? And you can hear the turbos. Every time I see him at events, what? he's always in the RS3. Like, he never pictures of the R8. Bro, yeah. so that RS3 of his. He is that also moves. He <laughs> doesn't move. Man. They are crazy. You need to get him on cars and things. He needs to smoke a lot. He smoked that guy. He smoked a lot of people. He he's smoked he's a got lot. two RS3s now. But the gray one, get the gray one, man. Tane, you heard it. You need to jump on a cars and things video, bro. I know we've been talking about it for a while. Let's do it. We, we need to get into that R8, that RS3, that TTRS, all of them, all of them. We need to get you on cars and things. Tane, let's make it happen, bro. Bro, if you get Tane on cars and things, bro, it's going to be so sick. Actually, you know, if you actually get Tane on cars and things, you need to get a closed off road. And he must bring all these cars. And no, then he we... actually did say we should shoot together. Yeah, so he must bring all these cars, cars, cars closed off road, and then he must just run them. Mm. How many cars does he have on two cars? I, I don't know, dude. Because he also, has, he also has that white one. Does that he have the white RS3? How many does he have? All of them. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> he has all of them. Yeah, all of them. <laughs> He's got, yeah, all of them. Same way, Jace. This is Jace's car. No, that's not Jace. Jace has got the grey one. Yeah. 
the great only one. That's actually one. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Did you see the side skirts? Yeah. Oh. So Jace is gonna have the one, one, the new one. Is it the, the one? The one. 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 And then there's the one. The white one. The white one. The acro pipes, I think. Mean. The next one. With that weird CXXXX. Oh, 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 oh. It's, yeah, it's in the back. Oh, it's on the left there. Yeah. Like, bro, that thing moves. Like, I think it's like 500 and something kilowatts on the wheels. Though. That thing I'll moves. die in that car, bro. No. <laughs> I'll die in that car. And the thing is. Just cruise, brother. It's that, it's that <laughs> on. Uh, Don't cruise in a car like that. <laughs> Yeah, actually. <laughs> <laughs> do they do dino runs here as well? Huh? Do they do dino runs here? They take it to a car. They don't do it here. They have to get one here and then we must check. We're just here, it's just sitting here, just hearing a car move there. The only problem with the dino, bro, and I saw it before with the other places that I won't name that have dinos. That thing needs a, like proper service so it runs properly. Because some, some dinos don't get service, so you get wrong figures. Secondly, you need space. Like, because once, once, what, well, the dyno needs to be in the ground. It needs to be a fixed dyno. So once you get a dyno in, you lose that space. And you can see, like, there's no space. There's no space. Like, unless they get, like, a secondary spot, which is just dyno, then it's shut. But if you can't just put it in a workshop, that thing shows space. But I mean, it helps, because... But it helps in that it's a good investment for possibly, yeah? I don't know. You don't get much out of it, because people don't pay for it. I think, I don't know, it's like 200 bucks to dyno or something. How much would you be spending on to create that at space? Ah. A lot. I don't know. But you know what? Most oaks now have dino days. So what you do is the guys with dinos will invite people over and then you'll have like 30 cars and then it'll be like a dino competition. So whoever's they'll go, whoever's got the highest kilowatts, whoever's got the highest newton meters, whoever's got the highest overall. So it becomes one of those nights where everyone gets together, brings their cars and then they dino their cars. Dino day. Let's do it. With my stock car and everything, let's do it. Actually, I'd I'd like to I'd like to dyno my car, but the only problem is I need a four wheel dyno. It's not gonna. I can't. Uh, you won't get the. They two. normally put on the front wheels. Yeah, bro. It's this is the same power. This is the best sleeper you'll ever find. He's got a built motor in there. What do you mean? That is. He's running semi slicks, bro. Yeah, he's running semi slicks on there. I think we'll we'll smoke my car. You'll give me bus lens. I don't know how I feel about it, man. What the S3? Yeah. The, you know what? It's it's nice when you're entering the sports car market because it's fast but not too fast. It's and it's relatively safe because it's four-wheel drive. And then compared to the R, it's the R is much faster and much more aggressive and much more sharper. Or the, in terms of the Golf R. Yeah. Yeah. I, I get turbos there. Yeah, you're done. Oh, that's my dream. <laughs> it's sick. <laughs> eh? <laughs> Why don't you put up, ask him to you, tell him you want to buy it. You know you'll never sell it, no? Right? Ah, bro, that thing's a collector's. <laughs> bro, I could fit my fist in this road. <laughs> <laughs> literally. Like, I literally put my fist in there when I'm big, bro. <laughs> <laughs> There's a new dealership that opened up in Durban. That's cool. So, um, shit, I'll send it to you on Instagram. But uh, yo, it is so nice. It's like a luxury dealership and they have imports. It's all over the uh, showroom. Mad. Mad. No, actually this video is going to be called like having chats at the 357 with the gents. <laughs> <laughs> this is literally an episode on its own. Have you been this to conversation is a, it's an episode. Have you been to Car Cave? I haven't yet, but it looks sick. It's so nice. Car Cave. Yeah, Car Cave. Where is it? Uh, Can anyone just go there? I'm not sure. I went Let's plan for something next week, Saturday. To go? Okay. Oh, that's it. Yeah, that's a nice venue. Pylon. Nice yeah, have you been? Oh, sorry. And the food there is good. Sorry, but I didn't see you from. Have you been to Kake? No. Do you know anyone there? Uh, I don't know. Um, I want to go next week, Saturday. And I have that photo booth. Anyone can go, ne? This thing. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Hey. Oh, yeah. Right. Is that I'm just this chick? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm telling you, there. Oh, her dad owns it. Yes. Oh. I'm so just speak to her. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. I'll, 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 DM her. Oh, send me the like screen grabber profile and send it to me. What's your? 
Just yeah. screen grab it at me. You don't have WhatsApp. Oh. You don't have WhatsApp anymore. Why? Give me. Take you chat. Take chats. Take chats. <laughs> oh shit! The 18 what year old is on car now. Send, how do I send myself this picture? Share to uh, DM. No. Guys, look how beautiful this dog is. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take Kobe back and I'm gonna uh, And he must take the they're giving it out there. Kobe can go home. Kobe can go back and it's return to sender. I hope this thing is beautiful, man. It's clean, bro. It's a celebrity yeah. dog, bro. This thing's more famous than all of us. <laughs> Probably got more followers than all of us. I thought it, at some stage I thought it had a, a gold chain on, a diamond chain on. I was like, no, Carl, that's a bit too much. Bro. Did you get it? Did you get it in the front? How are you, bro? How are you, birthday boy? Hi, bro. <laughs> hey, finally, bro. Have you gone for your thing yet? Then you tune in. Then you go and you put mate, you must tune it again. Then you go, you put charge, pop, tune it again. Just so imagine. And yeah. Yeah. And the, and the most expensive thing is getting the right hardware. Because yeah. you, if you've got quality, like, you can't just go get any turbos. Yeah, you need, like you sure. need to get like quality stuff because like, when you tune it, those things take strain. Eh? The Vargas turbos are like 80 grand for the M3s. That's what Jay says in the, on his M3. That's without installments, without shipments, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> yes, just get the load. This is the turbo. They're like, okay, here's the turbo 80k. <laughs> More than some crazy when I'm talking about these things. So, so imagine, you know, imagine you're doing turbos, now you have to do intakes. And you can't just do any intakes, you have to now do as well full exhaust. Then you have to get like charge pipes. Like, how much that is. So, if the turbos are 80k alone. <laughs> you still have to think of all those other things that are stuck in between. Yes. To get them to. Mm. These things are expensive, guys. You need to prepare when you're about to tune your car if you want a fast car. Five seats are like my cars, but, but it's carbon it fiber seats. Like they'll change, it actually, they'll change all the seats inside, make them like carbon fiber. They'll, they'll change, like it, make it as light as possible. And it will move. Right, those things, that's why those also are running flipping proper times, right? because they make it light, 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 light. Mm. Running the right tires as well. We don't run the right tires. We, yeah. use, we use our normal tires to try and race and think you're gonna get numbers. Not gonna work. Not Uncle Sanj, how are you, brother? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. You yeah. I need to come back and spend some time here. I haven't been here for a while. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna come back. I was getting some content here. There's just something about this one. That's Chief, a... not the white, the black and white one. Yeah, but no, bro, this one.
So let me know what you guys think. I still need to get a rim, a beautiful looking rim. I'll probably get it in gloss black or matte black actually for the M2 competition. Let me know what rim you guys think is absolutely cool. And for the race car as well, I will have to get a rim. Um, it might be an RS3, it might be a BMW 140. It might be an R8, who knows, but I just want to buy a car that I can have fun with and it will need some new shoes. These are gorgeous. Imagine these in a 19 or 20 inch, those would be insane. But actually even more than that, have a look at these. Oh my gosh, have a look at these. Whoa, whoa, insane. If you have some kids, you can buy them some mini bikes there's these little cars as well and maybe you could buy a modified baby seat who knows but I actually want to show you guys this room check this out check this out come on you gotta come with me have a look at that <laughs> oh my gosh how beautiful is that rim now imagine that rim on our M2 competition or on something like an RS3 or a 140 or an R8 be insane and look at that over there that looks very familiar oh my gosh haven 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 I don't know let me know what room do you guys think I should get I am not sure but I will be coming here to get a room but I want to show you guys another special car that just arrived you got to check this out check this out come with me come go Okay guys, listen, now I'm gonna take you guys to a restricted area. I cannot shout, they are owner's cars at the back. This is the workshop that I'm taking you through. All access pass into the 357 workshop. Go over it, let's check it out. Okay guys, you have followed me into the detailing section at the 357. This is where I am right now. A few months ago, my M4 was here for some detailing that I did at 357. I did some decals as well. When I do do stuff to my other cars, I'm gonna bring it here. I wanna take you guys on perhaps another video, an experience where we do some work with my car all cars here at 357 and I want to show the whole experience I want to spend some time here I want to do some work here but behind me is one of the new X Drive M135 I think they're an absolute beauty it is amazing in black I just want you guys to see this check this out Okay, before I talk some more, scratch that. Uh, it's actually a 118. That's how good these cars actually look. I think they've grown on me. I wasn't too sure in the beginning, but right now, this could well be one of the sickest sort of one series ever. I just said it, literally. Could be one of the sickest one series ever. This, in fact, behind me is a 118, but you would never tell it looks beautiful it looks gorgeous in black and I want to show you guys some more cars that are actually here I'm just making my way around I can't show you guys too much but I do want to show you some of the sick cars here we might even make it all the way to the back I'll show you guys come with me okay guys I just saw uh, an Audi TT RS at the back I want to show you guys just some of the cars that are here some time ago you guys may not know this but some time ago, there is an Audi R8 that I saw at a particular dealership and I wanted to buy it. It is here. I don't know who the owner is. I don't even know if I can show you guys this car. But here it is.
guys you gotta tell me honestly would this car suit me or not don't be haters don't hate do not hate at all how sick is this car i think it will suit me god whew. please make it happen because i need this car in my life i need this car in my life you guys understand i need this car oh my god i need this car in my life Okay, making my way down 357, if we look straight ahead, there is an M135 right in front of us. It actually belongs to a friend of mine. We'll actually say hi to him. You guys might get to meet him. There is an RSC. The wind basically blew the plastic away, but they'll probably still put it on. But here's an RS3, one of my favorite cars at the moment and i just want to own one have a look at this polo over here so intriguing i've seen some super fast polos like this so i don't know should i own a uh, uh, tell me what should i do this is just crazy all right okay let's carry on there's carl there walking with his bully Ooh, have a look at this car guys have a look at this car it looks so insane it is currently on in case you are hearing the noise and the sound look at those rims it looks absolutely sick so the friend of mine that owns this car this is his daily car he also owns an m3 <laughs> look at that number plate looking beautiful these are really really quick the rs6 is almost done work being done on that one right now Ooh. Look at how shiny it's looking. Ooh. Really beautiful car, really beautiful car. But again, there's so many nice looking cars. I mean, Porsche GT3, you guys know where my heart is. BMW, I've been called a fanboy before. I don't know. These are gorgeous. These are gorgeous. These are gorgeous. And these are gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I'm going crazy at the 357. But come, let's go, let's go. What is going on my people? We are still at the 357, spending a day here. I didn't know that I was gonna turn this into an episode, but as soon as I got here, I went car crazy. I always go car crazy every single time that I am here, and right now, I am literally still in the parking shooting content for you guys. This video may even be called Chats at 357. We speak about a lot of things. We talk about cars, for example, we talk about business, we're talking about tuning, we talk about friends, we talk with friends, you know what I mean? But I'm having such a good time being here at the 357 and shooting cars for you guys and for us to just have a conversation as gents about this car culture that we love so much if you guys like this video please make sure you give it a thumbs up do subscribe and right next to the subscribe button is the bell icon click that so you never miss a video now i've had loads of fun shooting this content for you guys somehow i found myself here and i'm so happy to be here again this is literally like my second home hope you guys have enjoyed it till next time we are out bye